Hi, this is Betty. I'm coming from North Louisiana, out in the country. We're trying to enjoy the time that we have right now to focus on our loved ones. I'm sorry for those out there that are not close to their loved ones right now. But in time, this will pass and they'll get to be back with them again. Um, there's a chapter in the Bible, it's Psalms 91. You can go to my website, southernladyartist.com, and I put that up on the blog section, Inspirational Articles. It's called The Virus, so you can see that there. You can go down and check where it says The Church. That's my pastor's uh, sermons, and then Betty uh, Thomas's is mine. So there's other things there, and uh, I hope that you can find some comf comfort in some of the writings there. Uh, my prayers are with everybody out there until this passes. I hope and I pray that it does. Uh, I'm sure you've been going to the websites and trying to find things for comfort. This particular picture that you're looking at, my sister, uh, took this picture in the Colorado area, I believe, is probably where this was located. Um, so there's other pictures, and her name is Ava, and you can see her photographs that are real inspirational also. I'm going to try to tonight, if I can, sing a song that means a lot to me. When my mother passed away that night, I sang her this song. Of course, it was five octaves higher than I am right now, but that was also 25 years ago, March the 7th, uh, is when she passed away 25 years ago. Um, that was before we knew actually what was going on. And I felt, you know, the depression from that. But I honestly believe right now it tops that by far what's going on. I just don't like and I'm trying to accept it just like everybody else is. Um, try not to panic just I believe personally if you can just stay home until you possibly you know can get back out again or where we can get back out again I'm not really sure um but being home and being close to your loved ones and just spending some time that maybe you needed to will help but my grandmother loved this song also and uh her youngest son sang it at her funeral and i sang it the night uh before mother passed away and i've sang it in concerts and stuff before so i'm going to try to cannot seem to find the words tonight anywhere in this house so I'm going to try to see what my memory is and my voice is like. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in a awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, 
to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. I hope and pray in the future that I can put that song back up online when I sang it in the 90s. My Aunt Sylvia also loved that song. And she encouraged me at that time to sing at the end, go up instead of I would chicken out and go down because it's really extremely high at the end, especially the version that I used at that time. Sandy Patty has How Great Thou Art, and it is so beautiful. Go to it and listen to it. That was the way I sang it the night that my mother passed away, um, and the other times that I sang it. I chose to not go to Nashville because I had the opportunity to have gone to Nashville just off the audition from How Great Thou Art. But I chose to stay here in this area and raise my family. And then after that, I had grandchildren and a great-grandchild. And I'm so glad that I did. I've been teaching my granddaughter, great-granddaughter, how to paint. I've taught my granddaughter how to paint. And I'd love to be able to have more time in this world and in my life to be able to teach them the things that God gave me. He gave me so many talents. Sometimes I wonder why. But you know, that's okay. Because I'm going to try to pass those talents that he gave to me down to them. Y'all have a good night. I'm praying for everybody out there. Good night.